Good morning, world. Just turn him down a little bit. Where's that gone? Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We made it. Just sorting myself out. There we go. Get some tunes on for a Friday. Okay, hello. Uh, so my name is Pete Opsley. Welcome to the Paint With Pete Studios. On Friday, we showcase all the work that we've done this week. Just behind here. Always excited. Um, I've also got a couple of pieces uh, from this week. One piece from this week and a couple of pieces from last week. Uh, just to finish up um, and get a couple of last lines on there and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we've got a colour piece from Tuesday and we've got a couple of pieces from last week. So I just want to add a little bit of detail to. Again, you, you would have seen these being created last week. I kind of want to, I'm going to add some gold, like a gold skull line over that. And I'm going to add a black skull over that white. And the same with that multicolored piece as well. Um, I might do some gold eyes as well. So one of the first things we're going to do this uh, today, I'm going to close that window in a minute as well. It's dead windy again. Always going there. Um, so I'm going to paint first uh, after I've revealed this week's work. Um, so take two minutes if you do need to uh, make some space in your house, flat, shed, you know, tree house, whatever it is, cave. Um, this is my cave. Uh, please make some space on your wall. Get some blue sack or some sticky tape and just start putting your work up. Um, we'll, I'll give it another minute or two just in case you want to uh, prep that area. So again, hopefully you'll have something that looks like this. So there is this week's work. Uh, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and today is Friday. So we've got the whole week's work uh, in the studio. I've got some extra bits on my wall as well that I've been painting. Uh, so I'm surrounded by loads of different bits of colour, and pastels and, and primary colours and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm feeling that creative energy for a Friday. And again, all we're going to do is channel that energy a bit. Finish, I'm going to channel mine into finishing some pieces off. Uh, again, if you're channeling your energy into making a cup of tea, uh, 10 million Friday points to you. Um, that's what we're here for. So if you do need a break at any point during a Friday session, please just take five minutes to go and get yourself a brew, some fresh air, some fruit or some water, whatever you need. Obviously come back to the session and see where we're up to. Um, but the first thing I need to do, I'll talk about all of this first, but it's drying time. So the first thing I need to do is add some paint to some pieces. So, this. come here. So this is where I left the piece on Tuesday. I'm going to do a very simple um, gold eyes. So we're going to do some dots in the gold. Uh, sorry, gold dots in the eyes. Um, and obviously I've got my portable painting board as well so I can control that drip. So I'm going to put two dots here. And then uh, be able to control that drip so I can lie it flat when I'm happy uh, with the drop or the drips. So let's do that straight away. I'm just going to sort my Mac out and then we're going to get straight onto painting. So give me two seconds. Please say hello to each other. Give me a shout as well if you feel like it. Thank you. Come on, Macintosh. There he is. There we go. Okay, cool. Just checking that you can see everything. Um, some heavy shadows today. I am. I promise I will sort my lighting out. As you can probably tell, uh, if you've watched the Paint Repeat, nearly on a year. Uh, on March the 24th, it'll be a year since the first one. Crazy days. Um, but I uh, hopefully you've seen the the kind of evolution of my studio and my working space and all that. There's still a few bits to sort out, so things like lighting um, and some internet connection issues, uh, as always. Um, but yeah, so I've just got a, a spotlight, or like a kind of IKEA light, just to make sure we can all see these. Um, sorry if it does look a bit beige, I'm gonna be upping my wattage uh, very soon. So let's get painting. So because I'm gonna be using the gold, I wanna do all the gold in one, like in one section. So I'm gonna mask up. Uh, I'm going to put some gold on this guy. I'm going to put some gold on my Mancunian skull as well. So, uh, you know, he's lemon yellow. I'm going to add a bit of gold, maybe just the eyes actually. Um, one, to kind of limit uh, how the exposure to the gold, I'm wearing a ventilated uh, mask. So he's going to go on. Hopefully, he can still hear me. Got my paintbrush. So, I'm going to be using Mr. Dead, who's my favourite. 
So, I'm going to do gold eyes on this guy. In fact, I'm going to put him on first because I'm going to use the gold flat for my Mancunia skull. So, I'm just going to wedge him up here. Bit of a portable art space, this one. That's all right, that's what I'm after. So, my mask is on. I'm going to be very, very quick with this gold. Nothing too serious whatsoever. I'm going to do the whole skull. Screw it. This gold is amazing. Uh, you've seen me use it a few times, I'm sure. It's got a really natural drip to it. But again, I've got to be very careful because it is pretty noxious stuff. I've got a towel on the floor and I've got my painting joggers on. So I'm ready to use any paint materials, any art stuff. My carpet's secure, my trousers are secure, and we are good, okay. So, eyeballs, I think we're done here. Let's just put some of them in. I'll show you that in a second. He's just dripping very, very quickly. I'll show you that when he's dry, he's down there. Okay, so I need to use that gold bar, this stuff really stinks. Okay, so I'm just going to put the eyes in and a crown. This is a kind of a, a female skull. So I want it a little bit softer than our normal skulls. But still have that kind of signature lines in. Okay, cool. Just going to saturate that a little bit. Okay, cool. Mass it down there, that's why I was smelling it so strongly. Well, okay, so I'm just gonna hold that up. I think he's dripping to the right amount now, so they're down here. So I'm gonna lie him flat, and that drip should stop. So I've got my two goals on the floor, nice and covered. I'm still gonna keep my mask on just for a bit because there's still quite a lot of that um, solvent in the air. The lid's back on the pot, I'm gonna move him near the window. I do have my window open as well, so I'm being super double cautious. You might see me um, holding my breath. Um, obviously, I've always had a window open when I'm using that gold. You have to be very, very, very careful with it. I know I look like Sub-Zero at the moment. <laughs> but having the window open and having a mask on will really, really save you um, from yeah, some pretty noxious chemicals. There's all the warnings on the side. Uh, be very careful with your art materials, ladies and gents. I do want to put a... Uh, oh. <laughs> I want some gold in this one now. This guy kind of looks uh, a little bit empty. So I'm just gonna go back in incredibly quickly. Just get Mr. Dead back out. And I'm gonna kind of freestyle some dots. and then put a little bit extra in there. And then just tip it. So just from that um, second, two seconds of drying on my legs, on my knees. Come on. Yeah, there you go. So this guy's going as well now. So we've got a very nice little kind of uh, gold tears. I love this gold, it looks absolutely amazing in the light. Come on. Okay, lid's on. He's near the window. Window's open. Mask off. Help him on his way. I'm just blowing down the sheet. So I'm pretending to be a uh, wind. And uh, you're able to control the uh, well, the direction and the flow of that ink there. Okay, cool. So just a little bit of detail on there. That's cool. So we can leave them for a minute. Um, well, for a couple of minutes. That's better. Yeah, good. Uh, window open. I can't smell the gold anymore. That's a, a good sign. Um, so what I've got to do left on these pieces is a couple of lines. Um, I'm tempted to leave the gold on the Mancunia piece. So I'll show you that actually because he's dry or drying. Stage four, three, four. Here's Mr. Gold Eyes. Again, if you've got a name for any of these, please, please give me a shout. Red, white, and black, and gold guy. 
He was from our doodle session uh, last week. And then we've got our multicolored uh, queen head. There's something missing here. I'm gonna add something here, probably X's or hearts or something. But I'm um, trying to keep that femininity in this skull. The skull is slightly smaller, a little bit better proportioned, um, just a little bit softer, just to kind of push a bit more of a female um, idea in there. Or like a feminine skull. There we are. So we can stay there to dry while we talk through the week. So I've got my coffee here. Cheers everyone, happy Friday. We made it. Another Friday in lockdown, but that's one more until we're back open and we can go and enjoy everything that we would normally be doing uh, in March and April. I can't wait for Easter. I love Easter. I love spring. And again, that kind of, uh, that, um, you know, unlimited energy that I have when the weather's nice. I mean, it's not too, it's a bit grey today, a bit rainy and windy, um, but as soon as that springtime or the summer vibe kicks in, you know, it's a whole new bank of energy. Really, really fun. Let's say some good mornings. Uh, yeah, sorry, um, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I used to have a desk here in the studio. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Mrs. Bond and uh, Jan Johnson. Good morning, everyone. Um, so I used to have a table here. Um, I've moved my, this is the paint studio, uh, I've moved all the tables into my office, but um, I've got a little board, so I know sometimes I'm working down here and you can't see it, it looks a little bit dodgy, but you will see every other stage of that piece, all I've done is put those gold lines on, um, and yeah, hopefully you saw that when I showed you. So, okay, so this is the week's work, so thank you so much if you've joined me for one minute or for five days uh, straight. If you've picked a pen up, if you've thought about art, even if you've kind of been like, oh, I might try that. That is literally the whole game uh, with the Paint With Peas. A little bit of kind of, uh, you know, exhibitionist uh, idiot kind of thing. I was gonna use a different word there. An exhibitionist idiot. Um, I host a lot of nights, so I love uh, kind of introducing stuff and talking through a lot of things. But obviously, I, you know, I paint as well. My name is Pete Obsolete. I love painting. Um, so that kind of, uh, I want to show and kind of inspire is a very, very uh, risky word because it sounds incredibly, uh, oh my God, I'm so selfless, but it's so easy. Like I'm literally, I, I came from this idea of if I see someone else drawing, I will want to draw. It's a very, very simple equation, very simple formula. Um, I run an art night with Dave Draws and Charlie Crosby and everyone else, shouts to Overdrawn. Um, that's all about getting people drawing. Uh, a very easy way of doing that is a, uh, <laughs> Drawing certain uh, parts of uh, certain anatomies on tables uh, will remind people, I'll let you uh, know the clues, I'll let you make, um, work that one out. Like at school, uh, we used to cover, we cover all the tables in paper so everybody can draw. And again, by drawing a, a certain appendage, um, people get really excited about drawing again. That's literally the metaphor for the Paint With Peace as well. Um, obviously in lockdown, the events aren't on. Um, so I just really want to push that kind of, you can draw. You can draw just by, you know, if people say they can't, I've had years of it um, doing exhibitions and, you know, live drawing and painting and, and nights and stuff. And I get so much, um, I can't draw. Everybody can draw, it's just that you don't believe that it's good. That's the only difference, right? If you pick a pen up or a pencil and you start drawing, you are drawing. You are an artist by nature, literally. Um, so the Paint With Peas, I've always, always, always stood uh, for that kind of grab some paper, grab a pen, and let's see what we can do in one hour. Uh, Fridays are always dedicated to kind of reviewing that, uh, looking back through the week that we've done. Uh, we spend an hour, 60 minutes every day, painting, drawing, sketching, doodling, talking about art, um, addressing certain issues, making certain signs, uh, researching certain celebrities who, you know, um, I think maybe have gone under the radar or kind of uh, have been forgotten. Um, much like uh, Edie Lamar, we'll talk, to, talk about her in a minute. But all of this starts with that doodle idea. That's why I started, I'm a doodle guy. That's how I started, just drawing every day, every, every page that I ever had, folders, books, you know, uh, <laughs> official documents, bank statements, whatever, just drawing on them. Um, so Monday will always be a doodle day. So Monday, we go right back to the kind of uh, the origin of the species in my world, which is just doodling, all right? The idea, that caveman idea of, I see a wall, I want to leave a mark. Um, our wall has become paper, and obviously sketchbooks, you know, it's a graffiti mentality as well. But that kind of just doing, and that energy to leave your mark somewhere, whether it's in a sketchbook, on a piece, on a wall, you know, 
wherever I want to build it, anything like that, it's still all in the same mindset of I want to leave my mark on the world. The way I look at that is through doodling. So, where's my doodle sheet? Here we are. So on Monday, it was my mother and my sister's birthday, as well as International Women's Day. International Women's Day. Um, that was uh, Wednesday. So for Monday, I thought, why not channel some fun and we'll go down a kind of party idea. So uh, I thought of five or six different icons uh, that I directly associated with party or birthdays. Um, so, or the idea of celebration. So it could be birthdays, it could be celebrating womanhood uh, or women uh, across the world, Mother Nature, etc. Um, or just a, you know, an idea for a card if you've got a birthday coming up or someone's got a birthday um, coming up that you want to draw, uh, you know, hand-drawn birthday card for. Very simple. So we've got balloons, cakes, uh, fire, uh, hats, bows, um, some kind of uh, swirls that imitate kind of uh, birthday streamers. Stars, what else we got? Da, da, da. I think that's about it. And then we link them all with my obsolete lines. Uh, four different lines <clears throat> lumpy, spiky, uh, soft, and smoky. So all the elements are obsolete but with a kind of custom pattern. It only took us about 10 minutes to kind of fill that page. Really nice. I'll show you what that looks like in the frame in a bit. So the other thing on Friday, we're talking about Monday, but the other thing on Friday, I always frame every bit of work that we've done. Just so you can see that how, even if it's a doodle piece, even if it's just a trial, uh, trial and error kind of sheet, we can actually put it in a frame. You can see what it looks like uh, officially, like once it's got a purpose. I look a little bit flat now, wait until it gets in the frame, and we'll see it up. Okay, so that's uh, that was Monday. We're still on Monday. I then decided to break four of those down. I think it was this way around. Either way. At one point on Monday, oh wow, hello, loads of people saying hello, hello. Um, so the other thing on Monday, we then took four of those icons and broke them down and just made a very simple four icon piece. You know, we can colour that in. This is still technically doodles. Um, you can still see the pencil lines and stuff. Again, you know, if you wanted to colour that in later, absolutely fine, I might even do that myself. Um, I've started getting really into the uh, Colouring in um, again, like taking a bit of time getting the poskas out, uh, the pens that I use, and just um, throwing some colouring stuff. We saw the skull from last week. We also did this, ah, I've forgotten it, I'll show you that one for Tuesday. I've just realised I've got a piece for Tuesday that I've forgotten. Okay, so there's our four icons. We chose a, a slice of cake, a balloon with a, a symbol for woman in it, We've got a party hat, and a nice flower, it's got a half daisy, half sunflower. And then, still Monday, we then broke those up again, and I tried to uh, draw a kind of flash sheet, so we uh, drew, took a little bit more time over those icons, there's a bit more detail in them, they're not crazy neat, I like the pattern in the hat, I like the, uh, the flower, Mr. Happy Guy, always, always nice, so we took those and then put, and just drew them bigger. I think we went this one first and then chose four. Do I do apologise? Uh, but again, just this working process of kind of going from uh, very rough and immediate, reactive, uh, reactive uh, kind of drawing, and just being like, okay, that's what it looks like. Boom, next, boom, 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 and then kind of slowing down a bit, taking our time over um, a couple of icons, and then choosing four of those and working on them for one single piece. No colour, all black and white all pens and pencils and paper, that was literally it for Monday. Tuesday came around, I'll put those back up, why not? I'll put them back up. Just so we've got a representation of Montag. Uh, there we are, they can go there as well. But again, you'll see both of those in the frame in a sec. Screw it. He's still drying. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday is colour day every single week. So, as part of that warm up for the colour, I wanted to get our wrists nice and warm and our hands nice and warm. So even if it wasn't doodle day, we can doodle in colour. So this is uh, the uh, Love Women, um, or Women Love, uh, I need to think of a name. If anyone's got a name for this, everything behind it, all the pink and blues, are the symbol for woman. So it's a circle with a plus sign underneath it. I chose pink as a stereotypical woman colour, but also blue as a stereotypical uh, masculine colour or boy colour. 
Um, so that kind of balance of it doesn't matter what these colours are to people in stereotype, it's what the symbol represents that means something. We then put more symbols that represent stuff over the top of that, which were the obsolete uh, hearts. So again, I really like this piece, very, very simple. Three colours, pink, blue and black. And again, actually has a bit of a metaphor and a meaning once you look into the piece. So once you realise that those symbols are the symbol of woman, and then there's hearts, there's a kind of real positive message in there that I think for this week we need to be listening to so much. Um, and again, you know, I feel for the families of the, the police officer who, who got, uh, you know, attacked and killed. Absolutely insane. Um, like, awful. Absolutely awful. Wow. Just taking a minute for that woman. Sorry, wow. Um, I know that I put a post up on Facebook about it. Um, I know that I'm a big guy and I know how uh, intimidating I can look, even though I never have that kind of, uh, obviously never have that mindset if I'm on the street. Um, there was a point where I remember uh, there was somebody in front of me, I don't think even think it was a girl, there was someone in front of me and in my head I was like, oh, there's a, a dodgy guy over the road, I'm kind of uh, keeping an eye on this person, but even that would be intimidation because I'm follow not following them on purpose, I'm following them with good intentions, but it still looks... Um, on point, it still looks on top uh, and intimidating either way, even if you've got a good heart, even if you've got a good reason for doing that, it's not about you, it's about how the other person feels. Let's make everybody feel safe, especially women, especially women. Um, certainly this week, obviously the news is awful um, for, you know, uh, just everybody involved. So, let's stay safe and stay creative, but also look out for each other, it's so important. That's why we're making signs every week uh, to celebrate different things and hopefully just remind those people who, who need a bit of a reminder that things are happening in the world we can keep that positivity and we need to represent and respect and, uh, and stay loyal to absolutely everybody in this world thank you very much okay what else do we do on tuesday everybody okay so i started this it took a little bit longer and i haven't finished it um i was kind of wanting to fill it in and, and color it in but this is a start of a piece. Uh, I might finish this up over the weekend and colour them in. But again, pushing that uh, female symbol with a plus sign. I've just thought of a, a ridiculous joke. And uh, uh, so yeah, so, there, so we've got a kind of leafy mentality. Um, why am I? <laughs> I'm being awkward to say it. I'm thinking of calling this piece Lady Garden, but I think uh, we should move on from that. <laughs> Uh, because there's loads of plants and it's the symbol of woman, so lady and god, but uh, we'll move on, alright? Uh, that's just my head jumping guns, alright? Jumping to conclusions. So, uh, there's a bit of colour more, a uh, bit more colour in there uh, to go. I need to finish those plants off and then we'll get that finished up, hopefully by next week. We'll see what the weekend brings, eh? So, we can go back up as well. Regarde, regarde. Okay, so these guys. So Wednesday is always lettering day in the studio. I'll just do the week and then I'll get back to all the comments. Alright, thank you so much for the interaction. It looks amazing. Okay, so um, he's from Thursday, lovely. So Wednesday is lettering day. Every Wednesday we'll make a little sign. So I've got Be Kind, Most Wanted, uh, R.I.P. Sir Tom, We Heart NHS. I've got the Rockin' R, Obsolete, Hamus P. Loads of different ideas. Loads of red bit of great loads of them. This week's. Uh, was the International Women's Days. You know, I truly believe that, uh, like Valentine's Day and Christmas, it shouldn't be one day a year. We should be celebrating women every single day of the year. And by celebrating, I don't mean condescending. That might sound condescending. I don't mean that at all. I mean, um, again, looking out for each other, representing, uh, and kind of, uh, you know, being empathetic towards certain situations that, as a man, I simply can't relate to. As a tall, white man, I simply can't relate to. So it should be every day, it should be forever and ever on men. We made a sign um, because every little helps. So even if it looks like, you know, I'm uh, peeing in the wind a little bit, um, just by making a sign in an art show, that speaks to me. I'm going to leave that up. Um, same with the Rock in R as well. So the charity, the Rock in R, please follow them. Um, we did that last week and we concentrated on the International Women's Day uh, sign this week. We also decided to uh, bring in a couple of different days of the, of the Paint With Peas uh, into one session. So Wednesdays is lettering. 
Normally, we kind of break down the letters into blocks and then we make a, a bubble font. We then turn it into a sign. We kind of, I left the um, alphabet up and we made the sign directly from different letters. So if you needed to copy that, you can do. Please look at back on Wednesday show if you want to make an International Women's Days. Weeks, months, you can put anything you want in there. Uh, independent, independent. I keep saying independent. Uh, international women. <laughs> I said, I think I said it yesterday. International Women's Days. It should be International Women's Eternity, Infinity. Um, the other thing we did on Wednesday, uh, before I lose all control of my speech, uh, <laughs> is decide to kind of uh, draw some letters and bring in a couple of different elements from the week, as I was saying. So. Monday is doodle day, Tuesday is colour, Wednesday is drawing, Thursday is portrait. However, on Wednesday, I decided to bring some lettering in, and then we doodled on it, and then we turned them into characters. So we've got the lettering day from Wednesday, we've got the kind of doodle element of just, let's freestyle some letters uh, from Monday, and we've got the let's turn the letters into something, uh, something human, or like a person, from Thursday. So we've got P for Pirate Pete. He's got a dead leg, uh, dead leg. He's got a peg leg and a parrot and an eye patch. All the P's. We've got an excited E. That's an excited face for the record. With excited eyes for an excited E. There we are. T for Teresa Green. So, uh, so um, I think, uh, was it Judy or, Judy or Mrs. Barton shouted out uh, trees for T. I was looking for a symbol or something to draw. And I thought Mother Nature, again, coming back to that uh, International Women's Day idea of Mother Nature and Teresa Green, an old school joke. Um, I thought, why not draw a tree? And an E with an evil E. So he is a vampire. Um, <laughs> a weirdly drawn vampire. Uh, that reminded me of drawing uh, Romulus and Remus when I was in year six, uh, year five. Not even joking. Very similar kind of uh, structure to the face. Um, very weird. But even a drawing as an adult, as a 30 something adult, <laughs> mystery. Uh, <laughs> as a 30 something adult, I'm still remembering how I drew when I was eight uh, and 10. So it's kind of, I love doing these sessions because I'll plan the session. And obviously we'll, we'll do what I say in the sessions, but um, there will always be a little callback or a kind of memory uh, flicker. Uh, so this reminds me of how I used to draw when I was about 10, which is an amazing memory anyway. Uh, and I've still, I've actually got the piece next door. I might show you next week if I can find it, all right? So after that, we chose one of the pieces, one of the pieces uh, to draw up. I decided to go with P. Uh, so we went a little bit all out on the pirate. Parrot, eye patch, he's got a big buckle and a peg leg. He's saying, are me hearties. Uh, you have to say it in a pirate voice, so that's me hearties. And he's got a, a kind of R, got a little piercing and an earring, bandana. There we are. So that was Tuesday. No, it wasn't, that was Wednesday. Wow. Thursday came along, and I thought it was only right to follow suit with what uh, two seconds. Uh, one of the audience members, Mrs. Barton, and love that lady. How are we doing? Um, suggested Healy Lamar. Uh, very early on in the week, I asked people for celebrities and famous people every Thursday. This week, or the week just gone, I wanted uh, women. So in the, I keep saying independent international women. Um, Healy Lamar was one of the best choices. We had uh, Audrey, I forgot her name, Audrey Law. Audrey Lord, uh, Lauren Hill, uh, we've got Erica Badu, Dawn French, and there was loads of amazing suggestions, loads of them. Um, however, Hedy Lamar, I mean, incredible face, but she was an inventor, a producer. She had a, a film career for 30 years. At the height of her film career, she designed what is now Wi-Fi, <laughs> or what was the kind of, the, the whispers of what Wi-Fi is now. Um, it was all about torpedo guidance and interrupting enemy signals. Uh, to confuse the enemy so they didn't know where uh, torpedoes were launched, for, la launched from. Um, so at the height of her career, she's working for the uh, you know military. Um, absolutely incredible lady. So I tried to draw her. And I say try because uh, that face is unbelievably unique and beautiful. A uh, little fact that I found out that I did mention yesterday. In the 40s, um, plastic surgeons um, 
So her face was the most requested profile for plastic surgeons. I mean, you can tell she's absolutely beautiful anyway. And an incredible, incredible lady um, from what she represents, who she represents, and how she represents it. The most important is how. Um, incredible. So, weirdly, I found a photo uh, where she was wearing a star. And she was, uh, you know, decked out in stars. I think it's over here, is it? No? Okay, I don't know where that picture's gone. That's it. So I was drawing from this picture. Uh, by drawing the star on, I kind of uh, was reminded by, uh, reminded of Wonder Woman. Uh, weirdly enough, if she looks a little bit like Wonder Woman here and here, there is a narrative to that. So basically Gal Gadot, who is a Wonder Woman in the DC Universe currently, is going to be playing her in a biopsy in a, a TV show on Apple TV about, about uh, Hedy's life. So that kind of Wonder Woman, she looks a little bit like Wonder Woman. Actual Wonder Woman is now playing her. I find that very kind of, um, you know, uh, serendipitous, very good look, um, a really, really uh, a nice vibe, and an easy way to channel a wonderful woman. And again, if I say, I hope that doesn't sound condescending at all, uh, wonderful is, you know, I mean that. Okay, so, let's get these guys, stay there, mate. So, every week we do a, an egg man. I tried to do an egg lady today, or yesterday. So we drew our basic egg shape, kind of looked a bit like <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, um, but with my bunching. You can still see the bunching here, Pete's bunching. Um, by dropping the skull a little bit and bringing those features in, softer lines, we do get a little bit more of a, a effeminate skull. So trying to take away from that the masculine lines that I paint with. Um, I also try to draw the difference between a male face in cartoon and a female face. So men are very angular, women are a lot smoother. Case in point, is Miss Heady. I took a little bit extra long, a little bit extra time. Two seconds, excuse me, sorry. Uh, it took a bit uh, longer to draw in pencil, um, simply because there was a lot less detail in there. And again, those masculine features like a beard, stronger jawline, like rougher skin, uh, kind of overall kind of masculinity, just isn't there in her face. She's got an incredible face. So I tried, uh, I took a little bit longer, probably about 20 minutes just for the sketching lines, just to try and get those proportions right and get her jaw and her hairline right and the eyes and her general vibe. I think I got there just about. Um, but again, there's a kind of, um, there's something to be said for 1930s photography and angles and lighting and art direction uh, that you simply can't recreate because we are not in the 30s. Uh, I tried a little bit with this. I did want to make it a bit more of a modern uh, kind of take, so a bit more Wonder Woman. And obviously I put the, uh, the obsolete dirt layer in just to give her a bit more precedent on the page. There we go. Okay, so... I'm gonna get my Posca out, and we're just gonna finish up uh, this guy. It is brew time, so if you wanna take two to five minutes to get yourself a cup of tea, uh, some water, fresh air, some fruit or some food, please do that now. I'm gonna just keep drawing. Uh, no, no! I have a radiator here and it's melting my blue sack, SARS. <laughs> okay, stay there for a sec. Please, Mr. Ma. Okay, so I'm gonna try and draw it so you can see. Let's get back to people, I'm being rude. I wanna say hello to everybody. I'm just excited to paint, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, Chameleon, I like that. Um, let's think of uh, a first or a last name, so Chameleon or Dave the Chameleon, or whatever name you want. I love that, I like the idea of changing color and adapting, that's really good. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, I agree on the wrapping paper. You just uh, touched on something uh, rather important, uh, Mrs. Barton. Okay, um, there was uh, a few plans afoot um, for moves of that nature. So uh, yeah, next couple of months, Please keep an eye on Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats. Nice one. Okay, so 
we need to get drawing though, don't we? I'm gonna try and draw, uh, so I'm not getting shouted at by the audience, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing. Again, it's all about uh, being comfortable. I'm used to standing up when I paint. Um, I'm just a bit too tall for this room, uh, so that's why I'm sitting down. But, let's do this. Move Heedy. Yeah, I love. Okay, so customary obsolete skull, but again, trying to do it a little bit softer so we keep that femininity in it. If the pens work, that would be great. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's a nose. Again, soft the nostrils. Okay, and then the lips. Slightly shorter for that perspective drop. Okay, let's get the crown in for the queen. Okay. Carmel the Chameleon, maybe? Just trying to think of, uh, or Carmen. Carmen Chameleon is a nice little link to uh, Carmen the play, and Karma Chameleon. If anyone likes that name, give me a shout, please. Okay. There we are. So he's done, or she's done, sorry. I always say he. I'm so used to drawing a uh, masculine. Oh, we can do the reveal as well. Let's do the reveal before we put him in a frame. So, the edges are all masking tape. What I'm doing is peeling them off very gently to reveal this super clean. Uh, border for our framing. Again, a little bit of patience always helps, as does low tack uh, masking tape. In fact, I'll address you directly. If it's uh, if it's uh, da, 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 if it's Julie who came up with a comedian, can you confirm that you're okay with me calling her Carmen? Mm. I need the permission, obviously. In the bin. Okay, last couple of uh, peels. Peel and reveal. Lovely. It's like a photograph. It's like developing a photograph this bit for me. I used to love developing my own film. Um, and being able to see what the finished result looks like after you've put it through uh, kind of a lot, you know, through painting. Drawing, painting, more drawing, some gold, more drawing, painting. There we go. Okay. Oh, last bit. I missed one bit out. And there we go. Nice and clean. I'm calling her Carmen Chameleon.
Just signing and dating, everyone. Carmen Chameleon is finished. You'll see her in a frame in about 10 minutes. Maybe a little bit less for the excitement. Okay, next. So, next up, let's move Healy. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for the gold guy next. So again, I'm just gonna put a little black line through that. There's no reveal because there's no masking tape. But, again, as always, the framing will change that. Okay, so again, masculine skull. Any more names, more than welcome to give me them. Thank you. Oof, windy time. Trying to work out what he was missing there. That's fine. Okay, cool. I think he's finished. So again, just drying time for the uh, the ink there, not rather than the gold. And one more for good measure. I'm going to do the classic obsolete school. Amazing. Okay. This will be the last one before we get framing, everyone. So I hope you're still rolling with me. Hope you're still having a nice Friday. Okay, let's go. Refix just to get those last couple of lines in. Gonna hide these X's as well. Just drop them back in a little bit by putting black over the top. A little bit more subtle, that's fine. Okay, there we are. So, last piece done. So, it's just again, just a little bit of drying time. I love that gold underneath it all. Hopefully, you can see that gold shiny, shiny. Lovely. Okay, so next thing, we're going to frame. So, I'm going to frame. Uh, we've still got 15 minutes. Uh, so, I think we'll do doodle sheet. Again, just to kind of show you the differences and the balances. So, we'll go for a rough sheet like this. To start with in the frame, I'm going to go for our colour day. So we've got one thing from every day. So Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to go Wednesday. So we'll do our rougher sheet for Wednesday. 
obviously Heedy for Thursday. And then I might, I'm gonna, if we've got time, I'll frame up one of the pieces that I've just done, just so you can see uh, some more of my works uh, when it's flat to frame. So, get your frame, if I have my frame. Weirdo. I've left him on the wall. There's the only place that you should keep a frame, and I can't remember where I put it. Okay, so nice frame, little little obsolete piece in there, just for the toilet. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, open my frame. Much easier if you have a table. So he's probably uh, painting while trying to talk to an audience as well. So he's out. So we're going to go Monday. Just like that. Cool. So slide him in. Careful on those uh, supports, but again, a very simple black and white drawing done in 10 15 minutes, probably 10 more like. And we've still got a kind of professional clean finish on our frame. Uh, again, I'll do this every single week, so every Friday, I will go through the previous week of what we've done. Every single week will be different, although obviously, Monday doodles, Tuesday color, Wednesday lettering, Thursday portraits, today is Friday. So I just want to show that um, anything that we make in the doodle day still has weight, it still has purpose, and you can still use it as a piece. So even hanging that up there, I love a black and white line. And again, the ink, the, uh, the Posca ink is incredible. Uh, so that kind of, um, the viscosity, the thickness of it, and how prominent it is against the white page, is just a beautiful thing. Uh, again, with the white frame around it, even better. Okay, so next up, we've got Tuesday, so we're going to put our uh, Carmen Chameleon. Did I get an okay from Julie? I got an okay from Julie, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bloody love my audience, so I, you guys are amazing. Thank you for interacting and being good human beings. Okay, so there's the flat, kind of, oh yeah, he's alright, he looks alright, yeah. That's how, I, uh, that's how I think all my pieces sound before they get in a frame. You know, frames can be uh, as little as 20 quid. You can obviously pay an extortionate amount of money for frames. Um, I'd personally just get on Amazon. As much as I don't uh, agree with their packaging, they do have some really good uh, art materials, cheap frames. Um, so if you're on a bit of a budget, or just in general, I think everyone's on a budget anyway. No one wants to spend 500 quid on a frame, but you can get one of these, 20 quid, simple. Especially when it does things like this to the work. So, just checking that we've got the masking tape off. Yep, pretty clean line around here. We've got a nice blank neutral negative, or like a, sorry, not a negative, but a blank. So white, and then a white border. And again, your eye just goes straight into that color. Probably finds this gold really quick. Uh, if you can see it glinting and all that sort of stuff. Again, that looks really nice on there. I'm just having a look at the screen just in case. I have a different ratio. Obviously, if I'm painting like this, it's gonna be different from when I'm looking at it. Most of the time, it's only Friday that I get to look at things square on. I think there's a little bit of uh, space here that could have been filled, but I do like this kind of, it looks like it's been taken out of a wall or from somewhere, okay? There we are. Carmen Chameleon. Thank you, guys. Okay, so next up, that was our colour day. Okay, Wednesday, so lettering. I'm gonna put one of our rougher pieces in. You can stay down there. Just to show you what it looks like in the frame. And the even noodles, much like on Monday. I mean, obviously Wednesday is a little bit more uh, organized. We have a purpose on Wednesday. We are drawing letters specifically. But again, even that, even as a working piece, you can still see the pencil lines. I really love seeing that kind of uh, the human in it. So, you know, 
if you've ever been to an art exhibition and seen like the artist's sketchbooks and you can see their pen lines and little annotations and pencil marks see them in there I just created like that human element that uh, kind of reminds you that it was drawn by a human I've seen some art by uh, computers recently my god it's awful so strange um, and so soulless literally soulless um, it's kind of proof that there's a soul I think more than anything there we are so a little rough rough number in a frame doesn't look too bad we could colour that in pop it out a little bit more or draw them smaller sit them in the middle play with the uh, play with the work that we've done but actually uh, redo it absolutely no problem there there we are so that was Wednesday as well as uh, International Women's Day Independent Women's Day should be a, a thing as well they should go hand in hand so uh, I'll forgive myself for getting the wrong word oh well okay so next up we take the peat out. So, Miss Healy, again, you know, it's just Posca and blue sack on a bit of paper so far. Spent a bit of time over it just to get that face right. Okay, so Healy's in. Okay, Miss Heady as a portrait. So again, these are uh, the dirt layer. It's what I call the black layer because it's dirty. It's a uh, kind of you know not muddy. It's more uh, scratchy and dirty. So we've got this kind of natural pen line border from our Posca nib from our wedge tip. Itchy nose, excuse me. Um, so we draw our egg shape or our kind of more customised female egg shape, egg woman, eyes, nose, mouth line. Edited uh, the forehead, brought her jaw a lot higher up to give her a better proportion. But again, even in the uh, even in the frame, I think she looks uh, a little bit extra. There we are, lovely. There we are. Lady Damar. Okay, and last but by certainly no means least for the framing. Edie's going down there, nice and safe. And I'm gonna put, uh, we'll call him Red Man for now. Anyone want to name this fine gentleman, please give me a shout. If we've got time, I'll get Mr. Gold in as well, actually, we'll do the Manchester Gold B guy. Okay, so again, Simply from framing, I'll say it every piece, but it's so obvious to me that I'll, you know, it has to be addressed every time. Uh, the difference is fairly obvious. I am cleaner, smoother. These scratches in the paint um, are taken, are softened by how clean the white line is. And obviously we've still got bits of the negative of the actual paper of the white and white paint in there. So that balance is quite nice. Oh yeah, some wall art ready to go. And we'll do one more, just to make sure we are ending on our Mancunia face. Uh, I live and work in Manchester, so um, it's a good way to finish on. Okay, so here he is flat, and he's going in now. Okay, and here's the final uh, piece for the framing today. So this is our yellow, black, and gold. So we've really added. Uh, this was from uh, the sketch or the doodle week. Uh, I think it was last week for the eyes. 
we just do a page for the buys. We've done hearts and skulls. I thought, why not bring another icon from the obsolete uh, armory back in? Uh, so we do the eyes. So Metropolis reference. If anyone's a film geek. Oh, there's an idea. Um, and the way this gold kind of picks up and uh, and really steps that lemon yellow, pushes that lemon yellow back a little bit, makes it a bit more subtle. Is my point. And then we've got this kind of gold line that really pushes that out. Uh, and obviously the, the black line just to kind of ground every single bit of it. We've got a couple of natural drips happening. Absolutely love it when they just drip themselves. It only adds to the pieces uh, because it's an organic, another organic uh, mark, much like the kind of the tear in the paint, or if you were using your hand, that kind of like the difference in that. It's an organic uh, reaction with the paint and the gravity and the, and the ink and all that sort of stuff. There we are. So, you can sit there. There we are. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna put the stuff back up so we can all see it. There we go. Okay, doodle doodles. Please uh, follow a couple of things this week if you are looking for something to do. Hold on a sec. Uh, so yeah, um, there were a few things. The Rock in R. We made a side for it last week. The Rock in R, an amazing gaming charity. Please have a look at what they do. Support if you can. Please have a look at... Please have a look at uh, Have a Word podcast if you're looking for some comedy. And also please follow Sounds Like on YouTube. Uh, incredible if you're into the kind of uh, don't flop rap battles. Um, the man himself, Shuffle T, uh, is running or has started a new podcast called Sounds Like. Uh, it is a bit more for the adults. There is a few swear words in there, but it's all about rhyme. So if you're looking for something to do and you've got like an hour, um, there's several different episodes, but again, that kind of, the fact that you can laugh um, is such a good and, and positive uh, thing. It's a distraction, it's also a kind of, uh, it's just cathartic, isn't it? Just laughing, laughter is the best medicine. So if you're feeling a little bit on your own, a little bit cabin fevery, please have a look at Have A Word podcast, two of the funniest men in England, Adam Rowe and Dan Nightingale, shout out to Dan Nightingale, king of uh, Beat, the, uh, Beat The Frog and The Frog and Bucket in town in Manchester. And also Shuffle T and Liam Bagnall and Freddie uh, Scott Miller, shout out to Kruger, uh, have started Sounds Like. So if you're looking for something super funny um, and you're into your rhyming and your multi-syllabics and the kind of the intelligence within writing, but also the, stu the, the idiocy of it as well, <laughs> it's just brilliant. All right, brilliant, brilliant. Um, please have a look at Have A Word, Have A Word podcast and Sounds Like show on Twitter. Sounds Like on YouTube. Okay, so the last couple of bits just to go back up into the studio. Uh, where can he go? Uh, we'll just keep him down here. Budge this guy out a little bit so he can represent the colours, can I? There we go. Okay, last minute or two, I think. Yeah, sorry. Can't read the time, apparently. Thank you so much to everybody joining me in the paint repeat sessions again. Um, you know, as much as it is um, for the audience, it's also helping me out loads and loads and loads uh, simply from creative expression, creative outlet, um, and just being able to get creative and show you guys some of the working practices and some of the techniques that I use in my work that I really, really think um, if you tried, you could then uh, follow some of these techniques and you could start your own art label. Um, if you've been watching for a year, <laughs> on March the 24th, I think it's the 25th actually, it is one year, 365 days since the very first paint with Pete. Um, I'm thinking that I really want to do something outside um, and with you guys, but again with lockdown and the weather in Manchester, I think we're going to have to do something a little bit special. So if you have any ideas for a paint with Pete party, give me a shout. Um, I want to do something interactive, so maybe a Zoom something, uh, or we can just uh, do a, a standard paint with Pete, but we'll celebrate one year and we'll kind of uh, review what we've done the whole year maybe, I don't know. Any ideas, please give me a shout. I have a few on my sleeve, and a few tricks up here. But any ideas, give me a shout. Please name some of the pieces if they haven't got names. 
um, and shout me out. I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats MCR on Facebook. I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats on Instagram. I am snob underscore Ross, snob Ross or at Pete Obsolete on Twitter. And I am Obsolete Formats on YouTube. If you've missed any of the shows, and I do mean for the past year, they are all on YouTube. So if you're, again, if you're looking for an hour just to get creative, please have a look. It might spark an idea off. You can follow the shows. You can do exactly what we do in the show. Or you can obviously customize your own while you're watching the show. So if you've got a little project that you're like, oh, I need to do some lettering or, oh, I need to do some, some painting or whatever, please use uh, the Payment piece as a basis. And again, whether you're drawing with me or just having a cup of tea, just seeing what Pete Obsolete's up to these days. Hello. Uh, I hope everyone's doing okay. Please have a great weekend. It is Friday. We made it. Round of applause for yourselves. Um, I want everybody to put your hands up as well. Put it next to your left ear. Give yourself a massive pat on the back. We made it to another Friday. And we're being creative. So well done you. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Um, I have several other trips up my sleeve for merch and clothing and stationery and maybe some wallpaper, Mrs. Barton. Who knows? Oh, interesting. Okay. Stay safe, stay creative. Ciao for now. All of those good words. Have a great Friday. <clears throat> what was that? Have a great Friday and have a great weekend. Ciao for now. See you on Monday.